here. Speeding cars blowing through school bus stop signs as children cross the street. Yeah, the video is really, really shocking. And Bridgeport officials say they recorded nearly 10,000 drivers illegally passing buses in just six months. But it's really a problem happening everywhere. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live at a bus yard in Meriden with the concerns tonight. Hector. Well, I spoke with both parents and bus companies who say what's happening in Bridgeport is really happening all over the state. Now that video you're about to see once again shows some examples of these incidents. Cameras on Bridgeport school buses show car after car driving through their stop signs, putting children's safety at risk. A handful of examples that represent the near 10,000 incidents in Bridgeport so far this school year. I'm very sorry to say I'm not surprised. Brian E. Chamberlain is the spokesperson for DATCO, a bus company that serves more than 20 cities and towns in Connecticut. People doing it all the time, and some drivers are, are certainly highlight certain stops on their route where they know it's, it's regular. Ann Wilson lives near a middle school and sees cars speeding by buses all the time. She's even reported it to police. It upsets me and it makes me nervous. These kids are going to get hurt. And Chamberlain says that's already happened multiple times. Luckily, so far in the past few years, there's been nothing severe. But with the amount of passes that we get, it could just be a matter of time. She says DATCO is working to stop these incidents by putting cameras on each bus and making sure bus routes avoid busy intersections to prevent kids from crossing busy streets. We'll, we'll do anything we can to help the police with their investigations. But really, it's still happening too much. Now, for those who are caught passing a stop school bus, State law says it's a $450 fine for the first offense. Each time after that, fines range from $500 to $1,000 or 30 days in jail. Chamberlain says she'd like to see a stiffer penalty, but until then, she wants families to speak up if they're worried about their kid's bus stop. Talk to your bus company or talk to your school, and there may be a way we can change routes around to try and reduce risk there. Now we called and left messages for several police departments to find out how they deal with these issues on their end, but we have not heard back. We're live in Meriden tonight. Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, it's a terrible video. Hector, thank you very much.